Okay, ladies and gentlemen, uh, your next comedian tonight, he is Lucky Seven. I asked him to write an introduction. He said, just say I'm Lucky Seven. He is Lucky Seven. Please welcome Drew Holland. So, uh, seven is my lucky number. I was born on July 7th, so, and they picked seven, so that's it. I couldn't come up with anything else. We already come up with enough material, thank you at his request, and now at the last minute he's like, please introduce yourself, write something. I'm like, I've been writing for weeks. So anyway, so, um, I've been thinking about something that Romney said last year in his campaign. It was just the other day, I don't know why it popped up. He's not really in the news anymore, except denying stuff he said last year. Um, but basically, he said, Corporations are people, my friend. He said it in public, they wrote it down, it went everywhere. And I was like, wow, what a great idea, how interesting. So I just got to it, I started Googling it. I started with Google. I said, what's their, what's their mission statement? It's do no evil. In legal circles, we call this an affirmative defense. It means, I'm guilty, but make me an offer. <laughs> so then I moved on to some other folks, you know, who, people who you could do business with every day. I go, Chevron. What's their mission statement? I mean, they've got to be trying, right? They just can't be out there doing whatever they want to do. Their slogan is human energy. I'm like, you, you're going to crush us all and make us oil after it's all gone? Is this so green? Like, what the fuck are we talking about here? This is crazy. I'm like, I don't want to know you as a person. I'm like, you're not a person. That scares the shit out of me. Get it, get it. No. I'm like, maybe if I go to Exxon. In Exxon, it's, we are Exxon. That's it. <laughs> I'm like, that's all they got through legal. I'm like, seriously? We are excellent. Two X's on, period, that's it. So I'm like thinking like, okay, this person, he's a party, you meet him. There's Exxon, he's got a nice suit, he's all, he's drunk. So I hang out, hey, what's up, I'm Exxon. I'm like, hi, that's it? He's like, yeah, that's it, I'm Exxon. I'm like, why are you drinking out of a sippy cup, bro? It's like, oh, so I don't spill. <laughs> So then, um, so then, you know, another store that we all go to, you know, from time to time again, and you know, it's like CVS Pharmacy, you know, this should be like, taking care of you, and we're experts, and whatever, no, it's expect something different. I'm like, come again? I'm like, I got this fucking piece of paper that this doctor wrote, or it wasn't even the doctor, it was some other person, I can't read the fucking writing. Your job is to take this foreign scrawl, translate it to something, type it, and stick it on a fucking bottle so I know what to expect. I can't be guessing at this stuff. I mean, it's like, it's like you introduce yourself to a stranger who you don't know, and they give you the wrong name. They're like, ha ha, joke's on you. I don't like that. I'm not going back. I'm not going back. And then, and then, you know, of course, you have to look at Facebook. You don't spend a lot of money with them every day, but, you know, they're part of your life. Their mission statement is to empower, to, to power people's ability to share and something like grow the world, whatever. And I'm like, wait a minute, you're empowering us. They're my friends. Those are my photos. That's my people. And they're all running traffic to your site. And you're selling it to advertisers. The way I look at it is you should be thanking me, not powering me. You're not powering shit. In fact, likes are extra. Thank you very much. Move along, guys. All right. So then, you know, um, this one I had, this, this, this thought I had when I was doing my, my bills. <clears throat> you know, so I was, you know, I subscribed to Comcast, because I have to, it's one of the most hated corporations in America. Hated, hated, top 10. Look it up on the internet, Google. So, so their whole deal is, their, their slogan is, reimagining the future. First off, this just sounds stupid. I'm just like, that's just dumb. And I'm like, so why would you have to reimagine the future of this? That's really odd. Did you fuck it up the first time? Did you think that people love sitting in their house for three hours during a work week with no TV, no internet, you know, whatever, waiting for you to get your shit together? Like, I mean, who would trust somebody to reimagine the future if you don't even know where your employees are for three to four hours a day during the work week? I mean, like, they show up and it's like five minutes. They're like, oh yeah, it's just the fucking thing, you know? Hey, cool, there, here, sign this. What was that? Why did that happen? Give me a new, give me a new company. So, so anyway, so, 
you know, the, some of these, some of the time, corporations are actually people. That's weird. Like Glenn Beck, he's a corporation, he's a person. I don't really want to get to know him, I know that already, but I, I looked at him and I'm like, wow, interesting. His slogan, entertainment and enlightenment. Wow. So if entertainment means you loving, you know, having the shit scared out of you about the end of the world, and then trying to figure out how that connects to buying gold coins, well then, that's entertainment. So I'm like, I don't know about that. That sounds kind of scary. But as far as enlightenment concerns, every single one of his shows has a moment of enlightenment. It happens usually between one and five minutes into the whole thing when you're like, this guy's batshit crazy. Ding! Light bulb moment, change the channel. <laughs> Thanks, Glenn. You really deliver, buddy. That's awesome. That's awesome. So, um, you know, not all companies are bad. Some of you want to know. Some of your friends, you want to invite barbecues, shit like this? Budweiser, and Hazard Bush. Buddy, I call him. Buddy, I met him before the show. Met his friend Jack when I got here. I like Buddy better. You can hang out with him longer. I still remember what's going on. You know, so Bud, but he's like, he's, he's so funny. He's like, he's always there. He's cold and frosty and sort of warm and embracing when you need him to be. And he's always there for it. You know, and Bud is always up for party, man. It's like, you're going to party? Great. That's great. I'm with you, man. Let's go. Go to the I'm right there. Pick me up. It's a wake, it's a funeral, go to some land, pick me up, let's go anyway, you can put me in your shirt, put me in the pocket. You know, anyway, he's good. Um, a Seattle co corporation I really love, it's called The Green Door. Their motto is, we're here to help. Free joint with purchase on Thursdays. <laughs> These guys love people, we're here to help, I love that. That's so great. And the, other one, the other one I really love is, um, is uh, Lululemon. You know, they make the yoga gear and all this stuff for Seattle. Um, they don't really have a motto, they sell stuff. Um, they talk about their stuff, they talk about what they want to do, how you're supposed to feel, and all sorts of stuff. But the core is, they have this beautiful picture of a VW bus, and it says, spread love. From the company that sells see-through yoga pants. I'm like, I love these guys. Let's do more of that. That's excellent, that's excellent. So, so, you know, so, you know, you know, the batshit crazy part, Ronnie's a crazy guy, but, but, um, you know, companies, you know, can tend to be like people, but, um, but you have to treat them like people. You just really gotta, you know, kind of know what you're dealing with. Anyway, so uh, that's it. Thank you.